The gradient is just a measure of how steep a line is, right? Gradient one would look like that. Gradient two would look like that. This gradient is somewhere in between. One and two. That would be an angle. A gradient is just a number. A gradient's not an angle. Uh, a gradient tells you the angle. I'll come back to when I come back to my piece of paper. I'll show you what I mean. Exactly right. Uh, I'm going to write down all of them. So three, two, seven. Okay, so let me just check with you what your piece of paper says. This is what my piece of paper says. Okay. Uh, I hope that looks pretty good. Okay. Now, just to confirm, because I got the question before, gradient, right? What, what does that even mean? Um, this is not an angle. It's not an angle. It's a measure of the steepness of the line. So, for instance, actually, I think I even have it here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. If this was our line of best fit, okay? Bless you. Bless you. If, for example, I measured this angle here, I'm just going to make a guess. I think it looks something like 45 degrees. Okay. Uh, well, it depends exactly what this data is, but anyway, it's not my point. Then the gradient of this line, M, would be 1. It means when you rise one unit, you run one unit. That's what gradient is, remember? Rise over run. So the gradient is just this number. It's not the angle. I don't really have to worry about the angle at all for what I'm doing right now. Okay. So what did we just find, this 1.37, etc. number? It's the gradient of this line for our data. Not, not this random data. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay. Come back to the formula data sheet. On the formula data sheet, we've just worked out gradient. So now we're up to working out y-intercept. Okay. So at this point, it says y bar, that's the mean of y, take away, and then you can see what's going on. Right. So I'm going to go to my calculator now. I've still got my gradient on there. I'm going to clear that out. And now I'm going to work out how to get this y-intercept. Okay. The first thing I need is y bar. So shift one. Where's it going to be? Do you see a y bar there? Looks like it's number five. There's y bar. I'm going to take away. <coughs> and then in brackets, there's this gradient, right? Now, I actually, you guys know that we can actually calculate the gradient and then we can store it. Maybe I might do that just quickly in case you can't remember. So once I work out, let's go back, it's R times sigma, it was one divided by. It was faster just type. But this is exact. Yeah, yeah? the exact one. You can't type in the exact. You're only going to get 10 decimal places. My exact has like like hundreds of decimal places you can't see. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm going to store this number. I'm just going to, by the way, just have a look at your calculator. This is a gradient, right? You can call it anything you like, but what would make sense as a letter to choose? M. M. You've got an M? Use M. So I'm going to go shift, store, and I'm going to put it into M. Okay. Do you see where M is? It's um, over here. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to do my wind intercept, right? What am I doing? Take away. So how do you attach a value to Shift. Shift. Store. And then pick a letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, M. I picked M, so I pressed this button. And then you press A, C after you Okay. Does your calculator show this? This is me working out the y-intercept now. Do you see how that represents what's on the formula data sheet? And what they're asking me to do? There's y bar, there's the gradient right there. And there's x bar. Did I do it right? Times. Yeah, that's it, right? Yes. Yes. It's not letting me do x bar. Yeah. Yes. Got number. Got it. So now I'm going to go back to my piece of paper and I'm going to write that down. It's not letting me use the m that I stored. 
Alpha M. Alpha. Press alpha to get to alphabet. Try that. Though, though, Eliana, if you were pressing the M plus button, um, you've now changed the value of M. No, no, I pressed shift M. Oh, that should be okay then. M should still be what it was when you said. Okay. So, uh, let's look at my piece of paper now. So this is what my piece of paper says. Right? Uh, this was M and this was B. So what is the equation? The equation will be Y equals... And I'm, I'm going to approximate this point. So I'm probably going to write 1.38x minus 29.48. What do you think? Where, where do you want me to scroll? There's nothing else on the... I can't see Oh, sorry, my head. <laughs> it's my head. <laughs> okay. So this is what my page says. Okay. Now, is this what we expected? Um, that 1.38, that represents the gradient of the line. I want you to look on your screen, on your laptop screen, look at where the line would go through. There's a gradient of 1.38, look about right. It's positive, right? Now, what about this? What does this mean? Minus 29.48. This is the y-intercept. That's where our line of best fit is going to cut the y-axis, right? So watch this. I've got my data here. And I'm going to put in this equation. y equals, what did I say? 1.38x. And then I'm going to say minus 29.48. Not bad. Right? And in fact, remember that one that I did by hand? Remember the one I did by hand? Uh, I'll show you the one I did by hand. This is the one that I did by hand. And you can see I tried to, I put a whole bunch of stuff on there which is distracting. Let me do, get rid of that. So when I did that by hand, I said, yeah, I want roughly the same above as below. And also you notice I put that middle one, I put it bang on. I was just estimating, right? Now looking at what the calculator has actually told us, they've got something slightly different. Now you'll see there's actually three below three data points below the line of best fit and two above. Can you explain why there is actually, there isn't one right on the line? What do you reckon, Nick? Because the top one's like an outline. The top one is much further above, right? In fact, if you even go back to when I drew on top of this, let's put all that stuff back, you can see how much larger this one is, right? So to calculate it, it's wanted to make this a bit smaller and it didn't mind making these ones a bit larger. It's still a better fit in a more technical, accurate sense. Is that okay?